Hey guys, so I wanted to make a quick video trying to put uh, some Neville stuff into more practical, usable terms um, in a way that maybe people haven't thought of. You know, there's a lot of failure. Personal change is not easy. Um, it, personal change is at the heart of everything Neville, everything manifestation. It's all about changing uh, mentality to create a different reality, whether it's for one little tiny thing or a big sweeping change. Um, and uh, there's a reason that people fail, I think, and it's because they don't prepare themselves. First of all, they get lost in all the bullshit on, um, you know, in this in this genre on YouTube and Reddit and everywhere else, where they think that, you know, if they think anything, you know, you don't prepare for the worst because then the worst will happen. Well, obviously that's not the case. You know, being being prepared for all outcomes has not led to the worst possible outcome happening for every person ever. So. There's just a lot of bullshit and that's one of the things that I think people get uh, lost with. But because of that, I think largely because of that, people don't even wanna think about, um, they don't wanna prepare themselves for what it's gonna actually look like to get from point A to point B for the thing they're trying to manifest in their lives, especially if it involves them being a different person, which for anything big, it usually does. And so, you can do with this what you will. Uh, I don't care, you know, I'm just putting this out there for, for anybody who might be able to use this. Um, it's important, I think, to, to be prepared for what it means to ignore the 3D and to persist in the mentality of, of the different thing that you wanna be, that, that will create the different reality that you want. What this means in reality for a lot of people and where they fail, is that you're going to be living for a time both without the thing in 3D being there. So you've already been dealing with that. You've already had the pain or frustration or discomfort or whatever now, right, for some time of not having the thing that you want in reality, in 3D reality. But you have also been benefiting from the fact that you didn't have to put in any effort mentally to maintain the whole situation. You know, your mental state was, while well, it may not have been pleasant, it was effortless. You didn't have to force yourself to feel shitty about not having the thing in 3D, right? You just sort of naturally felt what you felt. There was no effort in there to change that. You're just kind of feeling naturally how you feel and that naturally created the outer reality or because of the outer reality, you feel how you feel. Um, and there was no effort being put in to change that. So then when you introduce Neville and or anybody else who's telling you a different way of thinking or being in order to change your outer reality, then you have to live for a time both without the thing, you know, with the pain and frustration of not having the thing in 3D the way you want it and with having to put forth this effort to change your mind. Everybody seems to think or purport that this is all effortless. Like the time you spend doing a state akin to sleep scene before bed is effortless. Or like, all you have to do is just think about the thing being different and it will be. Uh, that is not how this works. That is a load of shit. Maybe for some little insignificant thing that you don't have to do any changing about, you know, okay, you think about it, you imagine it, whatever, you know, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when you make a huge change from being something that you don't like, uh, to something that you do that requires a big change. Like going from being broke to being rich uh, mentally, going from being um, unattractive to attractive physically, uh, heavy to skinny, um, whatever, you know, big changes like that, that everybody fails at, that people spend their whole lives chasing and don't get. There's, there's a point of failure in there. And the point of failure is the failure to persist through that uncomfortable state, which you may have to persist in for a heroic period of time. You know, it's it's really different depending on who you are and what it is. Uh, but that's the point of failure, is when the, the discomfort gets to be too much for people and they can't continue to put forth the mental effort to stay in the right state of mind. Uh, what that right state of mind is, again, like I just said, is different, completely different, depending on who you are and what you want to have happen.
what you want to be different totally different um, there's no way to even begin to talk about that because it completely depends on where's your area of weakness where's your area of dissatisfaction and you know what kind of effort are you gonna to have to put forth to continue to, to think and behave and and assume the state of the person that has the things that you want while at the same time enduring the fact that you don't have those in in your immediate 3d reality this is where people fail and uh, it's it's a shame that people are not prepared for that because I think people uh, you know people start going towards a goal using these techniques and they don't expect for it to totally suck and and sometimes it totally sucks and it's that period of time where you both don't have the luxury of being lazy mentally and you don't have the luxury of having the thing that you want there to help you feel you know the way that you need to feel mentally in order to keep that thing around uh, it's rough man and there's no getting around it you may not find it uh, to be the case for certain things in your life I didn't really find this to be a big deal for money for example um, I didn't have a lot of uh, unhealthy behaviors that needed to change or, or difficult thought patterns to overcome for that so it really wasn't too unpleasant for me with money but with other things uh, it's been very difficult you know for me with weight experiencing the period of time where um, I both don't you know get to be literally physically existing in 3d in the body I want and I also don't get to partake in the behaviors that you know were the benefit um, where I have to just you know I have to think like my smaller self while also contending with the fact that I'm not that smaller self right now the, this is the challenging part uh, this has been my experience and in observing other people it's it's a huge it's a huge uh, reason for failure it's uh, if not the number one reason for failure is this pers this failure to persist in the mental state that produces the outer reality that you want people don't expect that to be hard they don't expect that to be challenging or for that to suck but uh, <laughs> you'll run into it eventually when you get through the easy stuff you get to the hard stuff you'll run into this exact thing almost definitely where it's just it's a real challenge to deal with this sort of double whammy for a period of time for a period of time eventually you will have the 3d that you want that matches with the mentality and the mentality becomes very effortless and natural and those things match up and then and then you basically have your cake and you eat it too you you have the mentality effortlessly more or less and you also have the matching reality to enjoy so eventually you get to have both in the beginning you get to have none you don't get the 3d and you don't get the effortless mentality it's you have to work at it and persist at it for it to become natural and you know there also seems to be this black or white idea where you're either doing it uh, and then it's effortless or you're failing and you know you're not where actually uh, I've personally found that it's a hybrid experience all the way across you know it builds on itself so you start out with whatever you can muster up mentally to start to make this change to move in this direction that you want to go in and as you get more you know results in the 3d as you as you find your world changing it becomes this beneficial cycle where then that changes your mentality for the better which changes the outer for the you know it's not like oh I adopted the final state of this thing that is so different and then it was effortless and I just stayed there and then you know it's like it's it's never I've never seen that happen for anybody not a single time not on years and reading all kinds of crap on reddit YouTube videos I mean this YouTube space is completely polluted at this point with blatant marketers I, I really I really whatever you know the marketers match up with the people that match up with the marketers I guess um, it's really too bad that people aren't seeing a lot of this stuff for what it is you know if somebody is if somebody is constantly showing you their perfect life while selling you courses wake up nobody's life is like that wake up it's a sales tactic and it's not even 
it's not even an unknown sales tactic. Like this is in the freaking handbook for how to sell to people online. It's selling an image. If you buy my course, then you will have this perfect life that I am photographing all over and posting for you. I mean, God, it's just like, fuck. Um, but whatever, everybody will get where they're, where they're supposed to go eventually. But I just, I wanted to talk about that because like, this is the fucking heart of it, man. This is the work. The mental effort is the hard part. It's, it's like people have taken this whole manifestation thing. Like it's, um, um, uh, you know, a genie in a lamp and you don't have to do shit. And oh, this idea that you had to ever do anything was just, uh, you know, something only the stupid people, just, you know, it's just so ridiculous. Like I don't get, anyway, whatever. I hope that helped somebody, um, I've observed this through the largest changes in my life, that there's a period of endurance. There's a period of having to constantly be aware of, of what you're doing. There's a period of constantly having to have the goal in the forefront of your mind. And this is what Neville Goddard talks about. It's no different. Um, read his fundamentals lecture if you want to read the most practical thing he ever said. I don't know if it was a lecture or it's a non-book piece of writing. I don't, I don't know if it was a lecture for something he wrote, but, um, this is Neville Goddard. Neville Goddard, if he were alive today, I think would be like a Tony Robbins or something. He would have a lot more of that. He'd be, he'd be giving you a lot, uh, more of a practical way of approaching things. Um, if he were speaking to today's audience with today's information overload uh, available everywhere, you know, it would be a different story. And, and people don't seem to keep that in mind either. Whatever. Anyway, I hope that uh, this helps somebody. Have a great day.